His father left him in his childhood. He had to spend his childhood without a father at the beginning of career. In 1993, he lost his dearest and closest friend, River Phoenix, after that pain. Sometime later in 1999, he lost his girlfriend and daughter in a terrible car accident. Despite being such a big star in Hollywood, he has always helped common people. But life played a very bad game with him. In this video, you will know 22 facts about Keanu Reeves, which you did not know before. So watch this video till the end. Keanu Reeves was born on September 2nd, 1964 in Beirut, Lebanon to an English mother and a father of Hawaiian Chinese descent. This rich multicultural heritage deeply influenced his worldview and the diverse characters he portrays on screen. Throughout his childhood, Reeves lived in various countries, including Australia, the United States and Canada, which broadened his global perspective. After his mother remarried, the family eventually settled in Toronto, where Reeves spent most of his formative years, although he later moved to the United States and gained a green card through his American stepfather. Reeves has always retained his Canadian citizenship, reflecting his strong connection to the city that shaped much of his early life. Number two, while shooting 1992's Bram Stoker's Dracula, Reeves and Winona Ryder, who played Jonathan and Mina Harker, respectively appear in a scene in which their characters get married. Ryder later pointed out that director Francis Ford couple used a real priest in the scene and that both actors said their vows, meaning they might actually be married. A couple agreed with this theory. Although it's not known whether the priests used their character names or the actors' real names during shooting. Number three, there is a conspiracy that believes that Keanu Reeves is immortal. Fans have noted that Keanu looks extremely similar to Paul Manow, who was a French actor born in 1847, and they claim Keanu never seems to age. Number four, Reeves faced his fair share of challenges early in his life. He experienced several family disruptions and moved frequently. Despite these hardships, he found solace in acting and developed a passion for the craft. Reeves' determination to pursue his dreams led him to drop out of high school and focus on his acting career. He experienced a tumultuous childhood due to the absence of a stable family life. His parents, Patricia Taylor and Samuel Nellen Reeves Jr., divorced when he was only three years old. The subsequent absence of a consistent father figure meant that Reeves had to navigate the complexities of his formative years without a strong male role model, although he did later develop a close relationship with stepfather Paul Aaron, who used his position as a Broadway theater director to aid Reeves in obtaining work experience within the industry. Reeves and his family frequently moved during his childhood, resulting in a lack of stability and a constant need to adapt to new environments. The continuous uprooting meant that Reeves had to adjust to new schools, neighborhoods, and social dynamics, which can be challenging for any child. Number five, Keanu has had a few run-ins with the law, albeit far fewer than most Illustre celebs. In 1993, he was arrested for driving under the influence where he confessed right away. And in 2006, he was pulled over for running a red light. Number six, Reese's mother was a costume designer, which likely contributed to his interest in the performing arts. He told Us Magazine in 1995 that she made him some elaborate Halloween costumes. Dracula, Batman, Cousin IT, and often had some of her clients over to the house. Among them, Alice Cooper. I remember he brought fake vomit and dog poo to terrorize the housekeeper. Reeves said he'd hang out a regular dude. Number seven, Reeves' life has been marked by personal tragedies. In 1993, he lost his good friend, actor River Phoenix, to an overdose. In 1999, he tragically lost his girlfriend, Jennifer Syme, in a car accident just two years after the couple had experienced the devastating stillbirth of their daughter. As these tragedies unfolded in front of his eyes, he also spent most of the 90s by the side of his sister Kim, bringing unwavering support and care as she underwent a grueling battle with cancer for the best part of a decade, which she eventually overcame as she entered remission. Reeves' ability to navigate through personal hardships while maintaining his dedication to his work is a testament to his strength of character. Number 8. Keanu and Alexander have been friends for a long time. 
They even worked on a book together in 2011. However, they debuted as a couple in 2019 and have been going strong ever since. Number 9. Reeves is not just a talented actor, but also an avid reader and writer. He has contributed text to the published books Ode to Happiness and Shadows, which showcase his poetic and introspective side. These works provide glimpses into his philosophical musings and offer readers a chance to connect with his inner thought. Interestingly, Reeves alleges that the poem he wrote, which found its way into Ode to Happiness, was originally penned as a joke as a result of listening to a bout of depressing songs. The work managed to strike a chord with many fans, a testament to his popularity and relatability, and has seen copies sell for. As much as $1,000 per the book cafe. Number 10. During a video shoot with BuzzFeed, Reeves said he's always wondered who really wrote Shakespeare's plays since he doesn't think it was actually the well-known playwright. Reeves said that he subscribes to the Oxfordian theory of Shakespeare's authorship. Gist of the theory is that Edward de Vere, 17th Earl of Oxford, actually wrote the poems and plays credited to William Shakespeare. Number 11. When Reeves moved to Los Angeles in the 1980s, he found that some casting agents were hesitant to have him come in for auditions because his first name, which means cool breeze over the mountains, was hard to pronounce and seemingly too exotic. In order to combat this hurdle, Reeves began using KC. Reeves Chuck Spadina and Paige Templeton I, I instead. Reeves eventually abandoned the practice because he would go to auditions and tell them his real name anyway. The turning point in Reeves' career came when he landed the leading role in Speed in 1994. After this blockbuster hit skyrocketed his career, he's been successful enough to be more selective about his work. Since then, he's happily taken supporting roles as well as in parts in experimental films. Number 12. In recent years, Reeves has achieved a new level of internet fame and adoration. His humble demeanor, genuine kindness, and countless acts of goodwill have turned him into a beloved figure in popular culture. From sad Keanu memes to the Keanu Reeves Day phenomenon, the internet has embraced him as a symbol of positivity and resilience. Despite being in the industry for decades, Reeves' popularity continues to grow and his dedicated fan base eagerly anticipates his every project. One of the most famous internet memes associated with Reeves is the sad Keanu meme. It originated from a photograph taken in 2010 of Reeves sitting alone on a park bench, seemingly lost in thought. The image quickly went viral and became a meme, with people digitally inserting Reeves into various comical or unexpected situations. Rather than being offended or dismissive of the meme, the actor embraced it with his characteristic humility, even posing for a photograph with a fan who had a sad Keanu tattoo. His lighthearted response to the meme further endeared him to his fans. Number 13. Reeves has a deep appreciation appreciation for music and has actively engaged in musical projects throughout his career. Most notably, he played bass guitar in the band Dogstar, as well as adding backing vocals. That band was mainly active during the 1990s but has had a few sporadic reunions since. They released two albums and toured extensively, giving Reeves an opportunity to showcase his musical talents on stage. Although the band eventually disbanded, Reeves' foray into music demonstrated his willingness to explore different artistic avenues. Number 14. After getting parts on stage in Canadian television, Reeves landed a part as a cyclist in a Coke commercial in the 1980s. In 2018, the Late Late Show host James Corden asked the actor about the gig Reeves remembered shooting over a three-day period during which he drank so many Coca-Colas. In full commitment to the role, he also shaved his legs to look more believable as a cyclist. Number 15. It is well established that Reeves has a strong and enthusiastic fan base all around the world, but what remains unsaid is the actor's own dedication to his beloved fans and the lengths to which he's willing to go in order to keep a smile on their faces. It was reported that on his way to the set of Bill Ted Face the Music, he saw a your breathtaking sign in reference to the comment made by one of his fans that went viral on the lawn of one of the neighboring houses. The franchise's co-writer, Ed Solomon, who was with Rees at the time, said that the actor knew the sign was meant for him and jumped out of the car in order to autograph it without even being asked. Number 16. Reeves has a reputation for being a workaholic. He keeps this reputation through the strong commitment he shows during filming and the hard training he puts himself through in the pre-filming period. Uh, he would not hesitate to study martial arts or learn horseback riding, surfing, or even singing if the role requires it. He usually goes under four to five months of intense training for every movie. Unlike other actors who might take it easy and rely on their talent, Reeves would soak in every little detail that has to do with his new role to be the best performer that he is. The skill he learned until now are numerous and absolutely fascinating. Everyone loves an actor who takes their job seriously. For 
example, during one of the fighting scenes in John Wick, Reeves suffered from a serious fever and still showed up. But with all that martial arts, come fun, and gun few up his sleeve, we are simply thankful the actor is a nice guy. Number 17. Reeves and River Phoenix first became best friends on the set of I Love You to Death. Writer-director Gus Van Sant had written the script for My Own Private Idaho decades earlier, but continually found difficulty obtaining funding for it. However, after sending the script to Reeves, the young actor was so struck by it that he drove more than 1,000 miles on his motorcycle to hand deliver a copy to Phoenix. The two men agreed to star in the film, and history was made. Number 18. In 2000's The Watcher, Reeves plays against his typical on-screen affability as a serial killer in a cat and mouse game with a detective James Spader. According to Reeves, he was actually tricked into appearing in the film when a presumably former friend forged his signature on the contract. Daunted by the prospect of trying to prove it was a forgery, he decided to go ahead and do the movie. I couldn't prove he did and I didn't want to get sued so I had no other choice but to do the film, he said. Number 19. After his sister was diagnosed with leukemia, Reeves founded a private cancer foundation not in his own name to provide research and assist children's hospitals. He additionally supported Stand Up to Cancer and Sick Kids Foundations with generous contributions to facilitate pediatric research. Number 20. Turning down the $11 million dollar role for Speed 2 resulted in Reeves being blacklisted by 20th Century Fox for 10 years. Number 21. Stunt directors for John Wick have expressed how impressed they were with Reeves' dedication. Usually, actors only train for eight weeks for a movie. However, Keanu trained for six months in order to perfect everything. They said he performs 98% of the stunts and the other 2% is just what insurance won't cover. Number 22. Andrea has mentioned that he doesn't care about money. He says he could live off of what he's already made for the next few centuries, which explains why he's so generous. Friends, what are your thoughts about Keanu Reeves? Do tell us this in the comment box below, and if you liked the video, then do give it a like. Also, do share it to reach more people. So, in this video, that's all. So see you in the next video.